Hello everyone, I really have no idea what's going to be coming through today's video. I really just felt guided to get on here and share some kind of message. So this is one of those readings where your personal intentions are really going to be playing an even more powerful role than they usually do. So if you have any specific questions, any specific intentions, feel free to contribute those now to this reading and they will play some kind of role in co-creating the messages as we move forward. Now do keep in mind that I do channel many different people, energies, and connections throughout these videos, so always use your intuition and only take what resonates with you in a personal way. For those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Infinity and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. So right away, we have the woman holding a coin upright, blossoming abundance in the reverse position and the angel of strength reversed. So I'm picking up on a very karmic feminine energy. Now, this doesn't seem to be your energy. I'm hearing it's an energy that's very contrasting to yours. So with blossoming abundance reversed, this is someone who feels like they're running in circles in life. They feel very disconnected from their intuition. And this is someone who is also feeling, I, for some reason I'm hearing spiritual weakness, but I'm not sure what that means. Maybe this person feels like a spiritual weakness for you or some kind of blind spot for you, or maybe they make you question at times your own intuition or your own connection to the divine, because maybe this is someone who doesn't like you or projects negativity onto you and you're very energetically sensitive to that. So there may be moments of self-doubt where you even wonder when you're around this person or after you're around them, you might start to wonder if you're not as divinely connected as you truly feel that you are. It's such a strange dynamic. Of course, you are very intuitive. You are very divinely connected, but I'm just getting that when you spend time with this particular karmic feminine, you might walk away feeling defeated, feeling drained, feeling again, like that spiritual weakness is the best way that I can describe it here. Now I am getting that this isn't going to resonate for everyone listening. So this feels like a very specific thread of energy. And of course, any of these messages can apply to your internal world or to some external person or situation. But I have to say, you seem to be at your core emanating a lot of strength and stability at this time because that word core is coming out very strongly, having a strong core, a strong foundation. And I'm getting that that's something you've actually really worked to build. You've put a lot of effort into building this strong core, this strong foundation. Now, because I keep channeling something about the core, there might be some of you who have literally been working out or exercising, strengthening your physical core, your physical ab muscles or something along those lines. But for others of you, this could be really symbolic of the way that you've strengthened your solar plexus chakra energy, which is kind of like the energetic core, so to speak, the core of our energy system. 
and also your root chakra. You've really stabilized as well. Now with clearing the root chakra, that has to do with clearing a lot of subconscious fears. So there's something specific that you have been doing to clear subconscious fears. Now, the subconscious mind, of course, is so incredibly powerful. It really is the powerhouse of the mind. And oftentimes we don't see results manifesting until we address what's happening in our subconscious. I am seeing someone doing EFT tapping exercises. I am not an expert in EFT, but I know many of you are. If you aren't familiar with it, it might be coming up in this reading for a reason. Maybe that is one tool that you could use to actually access and clear some of your own subconscious limiting belief systems. Now, personally, you guys know that my favorite tool for clearing my own subconscious limiting beliefs and reprogramming my subconscious mind is subliminals. I talk about them a lot on this channel because I actually started using them at the beginning of my own personal spiritual awakening, which was about seven or eight years ago now. And I discovered subliminals pretty early on in that journey, and they helped me enormously. They really helped me to begin clearing out some of my own subconscious limiting ideas and beliefs and reprogramming myself to attract more positive experiences, love, and success into my life. Now, of course, we all have our own different definitions of success, and that's such a beautiful thing. So subliminals can really help you to define what that looks like for you and align more and more with that energy. Now, because I am so passionate about subliminals and the effect they've had in my own life, I have created my very own library of them through my app, Sound and Soulful. So as I'm showing you on the screen, this is just going to show you around my app a little bit. And I do have over 130 subliminals here for essentially every area of life. So there are subliminals for mood, mindset, for manifesting specific goals and material things, for appearance, for love and relationships energy clearing, and so much more. Now, I personally use my very own app every single day. My favorite feature is being able to create custom private playlists, but you can also listen to each subliminal in 10 different background sound options, and you can read the affirmations while you are listening. You can even use some of those affirmations to affirm to the conscious mind out loud as well. So that's just really an additional tool within the app. But when you sign up for a seven day trial account, you can access any subliminal I've created. And of course, all of those tools and resources within the app that I just mentioned as well. Now, specifically, for this reading today, I would most highly recommend my Love Magnetism Subliminal because this is a really comprehensive and deep level energy clearing tool. It works through each of the seven chakra centers addressing and releasing any blockages or limiting beliefs you might be holding within each of those chakras. And this will assist you in really aligning with that frequency of unconditional love, which is the most powerful frequency on the planet. You can use this subliminal to manifest a specific person or a deeper love connection with a certain person but you can also use it in a more general sense to attract more love and harmony and positive attention into your life. So the link to download the Sound and Soulful app and get started with my subliminals is in the pinned comment and description box underneath this video. So when we tap into your energy in contrast to this karmic feminine, we get the door to value card. So this is my abundance card. This is about you 
coming into abundance in a really real way because of how you've stabilized yourself. Now, of course, we're talking about an energy frequency that you're stabilizing. So if you're in that limbo period where you're beginning to feel that sense of thriving, you're feeling that your vibration has been raising, but maybe you're not physically seeing that tangible evidence of the abundance yet, keep holding the faith because it will manifest as you continue to hold that frequency. And that's what I'm seeing with this patience card here. I'm hearing a message around keep taking action, taking that next step forward from that inspired high vibrational place, because whatever action you're taking at the moment, however you're doing something at the moment is really going to be paying off in the long term. And again, for some of you, this feels like something very specific you've been doing on a daily basis to clear out subconscious limiting beliefs and like deeply reprogram your energy. So again, this could be meditation. It could be subliminals, EFT, tapping exercise. It might be something you're doing regarding your physical body. Of course, always listen to your own guidance. I saw the number 1111. That's just such a powerful sign of alignment, but also could indicate mirroring. So we will get into that, but someone here might be mirroring this really positive, abundant, energetic state that you're in. I'm hearing everyone who comes into contact with you in your reality mirrors your abundant state to some extent, meaning your beautiful energy is contagious in the best kind of way. People can't help but begin reflecting back to you. That's interesting. I thought that I silenced my phone, but then I heard a notification. So someone who's mirroring you might text you, call you, communicate with you in some way. Now, I did get the victory card as well. So there's some kind of really powerful breakthrough that I feel has just happened for you energetically. It's happened energetically, but there is that requirement to keep stepping forward into inspired action and to trust the breakthrough that's already occurred is going to reflect itself in your tangible physical world as well. Because I almost feel like I'm picking up on someone who might be kind of in this limbo stage where they are embodying this beautiful high vibrational frequency. And it's almost like spirit is saying, keep doing that, keep holding that, don't go back, keep doing whatever you're doing because it's working. That might be, might be the reason that I felt guided to record this reading. Maybe it was simply to say to someone listening, Whatever you're doing to shift your energy, to shift your frequency, to manifest, it's working. And this is your sign of confirmation. So keep holding the faith and holding that frequency because something is going to be manifesting into your reality. Now, we do have to address the fact that your high priestess energy seems to be pushing someone away or triggering someone. Now, for some of you, this might be that karmic feminine that was coming up earlier on. It may be that this is a platonic situation or a person in your life who is really stuck in some of their own limiting belief patterns, dependencies, insecurities. They're in this really heavy place that seems to be represented by the devil card here. Now, this person is also coming up as the page of cups reversed. I may have already said that card, but maybe someone needed to hear it again. This is someone who really does struggle to hear their own intuition and their energy is just so opposite of yours because you're becoming more vocal as the high priestess. I'm getting that for someone listening, you've noticed that you find it very difficult to not speak your truth when it comes up for you. And not that you've ever not spoken your truth or not been in alignment with yourself. It's just that I feel almost as though, and this is going to be for a very specific person, so only take this if it's connecting, 
But specifically for a divine feminine listening, I know I've not really used that label divine feminine as far as I can remember yet in this reading. So I feel I'm addressing a group of divine feminines, but of course you might consider yourself a divine masculine. It could be reversed for you. And we all do have a balance of these energies within us as well. But what I'm getting here is that in the past, it was easier for you to kind of not necessarily speak what you were thinking, like when a truth came up for you, you could kind of keep your mouth closed or you could just not say anything. But lately you've been finding it's almost like the truth is speaking through you. There's like this flood of throat chakra energy that's very connected to your high priestess embodiment that isn't able to hold itself back anymore, but that's because it's not supposed to be held back. I heard the name Samantha for someone. This could be the male name Sam, or I guess Sam could be either a male or a female name. But here we have the six of swords in the reverse position and the seven of wands. Yeah, this is you really standing up for yourself. This is you being more assertive, but I'm hearing positively assertive. Not that you're being assertive in the sense that you are being aggressive or tearing other people down, but it's like you are speaking your truth and allowing people to do with that what they will. But the thing is, the energy of truth is very powerful and it can cut like a knife energetically and metaphorically speaking. And so that karmic feminine that was coming up earlier might just be feeling triggered by you sharing your truth so clearly, so confidently, and it might even be making you wonder, maybe I shouldn't have said that, or maybe I shouldn't have been so honest. Yes, it was how I was feeling and it was a truth, but maybe I shouldn't have said it, but I am feeling this guidance to trust when those truthful feelings or thoughts come up and they can't help but be communicated trust that there is a reason that certain things have to come out or have to be illuminated or revealed through you speaking them so here we have the knight of pentacles reversed this may be some kind of a masculine connected to you as well i feel almost like someone's spirit guides are coming in through this reading to just point out specific individuals who might be feeling a bit triggered as you go about speaking your truth but also to remind you that you've already had the breakthrough that you are firmly showing up as this high priestess that you're manifesting some very powerful things and that there's no reason to doubt yourself here so let's get some more information about this knight of pentacles reversed for some reason i'm hearing someone who took back an offer so maybe this is someone who may have made some kind of offer like suggested to spend time together to communicate, to meet up, but maybe they tend to withdraw these offers or they'll kind of go back and forth. I'm hearing disrespecting your time. Maybe you feel like this masculine has disrespected some of your time. They're also coming up as the fool card and the sun card, but both in the reverse position. So this is someone who is just coming off as very spiritually immature here, more so in their wounded masculine energy. You may have felt that there could have been some kind of potential in this connection, but you're in the high priestess energy and this masculine is in the sun card reversed. So you're embodying your fullest and highest potential, but this masculine doesn't seem to be doing the same. They seem to be more so in their wounded energy here. And this is because with the four of pentacles, they seem to be either overly materially focused or they might be holding on to certain repetitive issues from their past or certain things or people from their past. This may even be 
I'm hearing like not wanting to grow up or holding on too tightly to their childhood or their past version of self or always talking about the past. I'm hearing talking about their glory days. That might be relevant for someone like this is someone who doesn't want to fully embrace where they are now and take action steps to build the future they desire. They'd rather kind of just hold on to these things or people or memories from the past and stay in this kind of spiritually immature space, if that makes sense. But I want to know why this person has been feeling triggered by you. Why are they showing up in your reading today? And maybe this is someone who has contacted you, contacted you recently or is going to contact you. This might be someone who is about to give you some kind of gift because we do have the six of pentacles or maybe they did recently give you some kind of gift or there was some kind of show of kindness or show of wealth or maybe that's what's coming but the thing here is it's an illusion with the knight of cups reversed if this person has recently gifted you something or maybe this was just gifting you a compliment or some kindness something about it most likely felt off to you your intuition was probably ringing alarm bells and this is because there was some element of illusion to whatever this person gave you where really, really this is someone who isn't planning for the future of your connection or even of their own life and still really dealing with these past issues, still kind of in this immature energy. But it's almost like they may have made some show of wealth or power or kindness or something through this gift that was meant to lead you to believe that they were at a higher level of spiritual or emotional maturity than they actually are. So I'm going to be reshuffling here and I'm getting that if this message is for you, because this won't be for everyone, but if this is for you, you already know this because your intuition has been actually sensing this and picking up on this. So I'm probably kind of preaching to the choir here, but this might just be a sign of confirmation from your guides or from your own inner self. Now there is a bit of a closing message here about getting out of your head and allowing yourself to fully lean into intuitive action. And on this thought of intuitive action, it's like this combination of not overthinking it, but getting yourself into that high vibrational place, that place of alignment, however you do that for yourself personally. And then without overthinking, taking action on those inspired ideas that flow into your mind from that aligned place. It's almost like a balancing act here. It's like, yes, focusing on aligning the energy, focusing on that energy aspect, but also taking the actions that you feel inspired to intuitively and then not allowing your head to block that or to get in the way of that. So I will be pulling a final Rumi Oracle card here. If you did enjoy the message today, I would love to hear from you in the comments under the video. Of course, I also invite you to subscribe to the channel, join our beautiful community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram at magnetize yourself. And of course, if you do feel inspired to use my subliminals to assist you in manifesting in your own life, the link to download my app, Sound and Soulful, is in the pinned comment and description box underneath the video. So the final card here is Merciful Mother Jamal. And I'm going to go ahead and read a little bit here. So the guidebook says, O sudden resurrection, O oh, countless blessings, O oh, blazing fire in the jungle of thoughts, today you arrive with laughter to break open the jail. 
And the guidebook here also says, There is a shift taking place now in a matter of great importance to you. From Jalal to Jamal, from justice to mercy, this is your path, your destiny, and your blessing now opening up before you. You shall find that the unraveling of the struggle and pain now happens through tenderness, a gentler approach. So that feels like a beautiful place to close the reading. Thank you so much again for tuning in tonight. I am sending you all huge amounts of love and I will connect with you here again in the next video.